Hey guys, it's Sweet Dreamer AG, and today is the last day of 2013. Happy New Year. Um, but that's when I'm filming this. I'm planning to upload this tomorrow. But I'm doing an All My Dolls video. Since exactly this day last year, I did an All My Dolls video to put up on my new AGTube channel. That is my first video, and that introduced me to AGTube and all of that. I'm planning to upload this tomorrow because that was the day that I uploaded it um, last year. It's easy to remember. It was quite convenient that it was on the 1st of 2013 last year. And I was filming in this exact same spot. But the thing is, is that I only had these two dolls there. And then this doll was on the side. These three were not there then. I got all of these in 2013. That is crazy. My collection more than, more than doubled. That is insane. So, um, I'm gonna do an All My Dolls video. I think I'm gonna make this a yearly thing. This is not an American Girl brand doll. I believe it's an Our Generation doll. And these are sold at Target. And I think I got this around when I was five or six for Christmas. And then this is like the only almost AG doll that I had. So she was really, really special to me before I got Felicity. And when I was introduced to AG dolls because um, she was basically as close to as I had. Um, unfortunately, I can't use her for that many stop motions because um, her legs don't really move too well and she doesn't really stand up on her own. It's really hard to do it, so I have to lean her against a wall. So I basically only put her in stop motions where new dolls are introduced or something, because this doll is still really, really special to me. And, um, yeah. Her name was originally Jenny, but then I turned it into Lainey from... Because, um, when I... The year that I got into... The years I got into American Girl was 2009 and 2010, I think. That, and the girl of the year was Lainey Holland, and I thought she looked a lot like Lainey, and I don't really think that anymore, but I used to think that. So, um, I decided to change her name to Lainey, just because she looked a lot like the doll Lainey, and, um, and then soon after, I got Felicity, so let's move on. This is Felicity Merriman. I got her December 20th, 2010. And that was the year that she was going to retire. And that was also my birthday at the American Girl Place in L.A. So for my birthday and my little brother's birthday, we decided to go and travel to L.A. Since he wanted to go to the Lego store and I really wanted to go to the American Girl store. Because that was the year I got interested in American Girl dolls. I was originally planning to get, I was originally planning to get Rebecca. But then I knew that Felicity was going to retire. And, um, I thought she looked so, so, so pretty. I put both the Felicity box and the, um, the box with the Felicity in it right next to the box with, um, Rebecca in it. Sorry. And I sort of compared them. And then I thought I might as well get Felicity since he's going to retire. And then I might just get Rebecca later. I ended up never getting Rebecca, because I never, uh, I decided I didn't like her face mold. I really don't like her face mold. It's sort of different. Like, I just am not a fan of her face mold. And I'm so, 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 so happy I got Felicity. And, uh, yeah, so she is Felicity Merriman. She's a historical character. And, uh, she's retired. And I love, um... Sometimes I call her my Christmas doll because I got her around Christmas and she has red hair and these bright, bright, bright green eyes and she's always sort of been there. So yeah, that was Felicity Merriman. This is Kanani Akia. She's the girl of the year 2011. And I remember when I first saw her, um, it was after school and my friend came up to me and she's like, did you see the new girl of the year? And I totally forgot. And she showed me the catalog, and I instantly fell in love with the Kanani doll. Um, she is so, 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 so pretty with her long, gorgeous, um, brown, curly hair. And also, uh, she's Hawaiian, and, um, I've been to Hawaii many, many times, and I loved it there. 
and I just, I love the whole idea, like where she comes from, and it's so different from all the other stories in the Girl of the Years, and, and I really, really wanted her, so for Christmas, um, that year, I got Kanani, and, um, she and Felicity have become great friends, because it was just her and Felicity for a long time before I got, uh, into AGTube, and I discovered it and everything. And, um, they both sort of had the same personality. They're, they're really, really nice, and they're, they're, they're both really, really nice, and I think, um, but, uh, Kanani is more, is a little bit more sporty while Felicity is into art. And, yeah, so I think that is it for Kanani. This is Caroline Abbott. I got her March 8th, 2013 from my grandma. And, um, yeah, so she's supposed to be, she's supposed to be sort of, um, um, I think, I'm not really too sure about her personality, actually. Um, she's really, really sweet, and she's really, really nice. She sort of has a really high voice in my stop motions, and, um, I think she's really, really crafty and creative, and, um, she really, really loves nature, and she loves the ocean, though. It's not really here, so she can't really do anything about that. But um, she loves nature, and uh, she loves being crafty and all that. She was actually my first doll with uh, blonde hair and blue eyes. And her eyes are so, 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 so pretty. I don't think there's another doll with eyes like hers that are not that is not a custom. And I put her hair in this style a long t uh, while ago. And, um, I think I'm going to recurl the curls, but keep it like that, because I love all the really tiny, cute little curls, and I think they look absolutely adorable on her. Um, I do not recommend her as a first doll, neither do Kanani, because her hair, um, is sort of hard to take care of. I recommend for first dolls, dolls with straight hair, because they're easy to take care of. And that is Caroline Abbott. This is Charlotte Chicago. I got her at the American Girl Place Chicago on September 5th, 2013. And um, I've been wanting to go to Chicago for about two to three years uh, before I actually went. And uh, it was so, so, so much fun. I went to the American Girl Place a few times. And it was either Jessie or Charlotte, and I decided to name her Charlotte. And that was the huge Charlotte story. Anyway, I she uh, she is a wonderful, wonderful doll. She's very photogenic, and um, I love the way she looks in my photos. And she's supposed to be sort of my outgoing, adventurous doll. Um, and yeah, I think that is it for Charlotte. Last but not least is Molly McIntyre. I got her five days ago, December 25th, 2013, also known as Christmas Day. And, um, I thought, uh, Molly was actually supposed to retire. Today was supposed to be the last day you're able to get her, but she ran, but they ran out of Molly dolls. So you're not able to get her anymore, unfortunately. And I think she is a beautiful, beautiful doll. She's still in her original braids. Um, I've been kind of afraid to take them out, yet I really, really want to. So, so, so bad, but I'm waiting on that for a while. And, um... Yeah, so I really liked Molly. I loved how she looked when her braids were out. And I loved, like, all the... F I saw some photos of her, and I thought she looked absolutely darling in all of them. And um, I thought she was a very photogenic doll. And when I take photos of her, I have to take her glasses off, because you can sort of see my reflection in them when I'm taking photos. And she's supposed to be my very smart and uh, my very smart doll that loves to read yet is very, very shy. And uh, she also really likes nature, not as much as Caroline though. And um, just like people, in my opinion, she looks very different when she wears glasses versus when she's not wearing glasses. See? She looks, to me, she looks very, very different. And I think Molly is such a pretty doll, and I am so glad I was able to get her before she retired. I just wanted to show you in a video, tell you in a video about my Instagram, so let's get to that.
So this is my Instagram for American Girl Dolls. It is Sweet Dreamer AG, and I have to say that I made most of my progress on here through Instagram, because I have 197 followers on there, whereas I have about 20 on here on YouTube, which I'm hoping to gain more. And uh, all of my my 20 followers, I thank you so much for uh, my 20 uh, subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to me. And uh, this is my dollstagram. And I've met a few friends on here, and I am so 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 thankful. And um, as you can see, this is the type of photography I do. So if you'd follow me, I'd really really appreciate it. And yeah, so that was my Instagram. It is Sweet Dreamer AG, just like the name of my YouTube channel. So I think that is it for my doll Instagram. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. We, I really, really appreciate it. Instead of my dolls, we really appreciate it. And um, so yeah, I guess I'll see you in our next video. Bye. I know this video has been extremely, extremely long, but I want to say thank you so much. Um, I'm just about to upload this video, and this is my one year uh, anniversary joining AGTube, and I want to say thank you so, so, so much for supporting and watching all of my videos, and even watching to hear it. Thank you so much. I know this video has been extremely long and all of that, but thank you so, so, so much.